Hey everyone, what's going on? This is Corey Ashley, Brooklyn Baritone. And if you pay attention to my podcast or in my past work, I like to talk about a lot of things that improve life externally and internally. I also, as you know, I'm a vegan and I go around looking at a lot of local establishments that promote the vegan lifestyle, vegetarian lifestyle, a holistic lifestyle. Now, one place is a guy I've been trying to track down for such a long time because you can see there's plenty of products back here. You can hear the activity. I am on Church Avenue here in Brooklyn, New York. The store is called Nani. The guy I am with here, his name is Wayne. He runs everything here. Wayne, how you doing there, man? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Good. We I finally know. caught up with each other. Yes, I know. You know, a little hectic. Very. With everything that's going on. So, all right, now we're here. First, let me say something. Sure. I heard you in your introduction say I run everything. <laughs> you, you, you know, the, the truth is, um, uh, an old teacher of mine say, you are, you are just as good. You are good based on the people who work for you. If they're no good, then you know. That's true. So, I got a good group of people, and I'm sure you're going to meet them. And a few who works here and who are very helpful. Got you. Yeah, of course, of course. Because so I just want to make sure I say that. Oh yeah, you, you didn't want anybody to lump you up yeah, afterwards. Yeah, okay, man. <laughs> I got you representing properly, but the store is in very, very good order right here. And that's like, you know, that doesn't happen this is overnight and you have to upkeep it there all the time. No, but, no. but you know, tell me one thing about your store, Nani. Tell me like, you know, the name of it, um, how you started off with it, how long were you here in this community here? We, we here about 18 years, 2001. Wow. Um, you know, I always believe in a, a healthy lifestyle. Okay. You know, I wanted to bring that to the community because it was so difficult to get uh, a lot of healthy stuff. I mean, a lot of it, the bodegas and the places around here don't really sell a lot of healthy stuff. So that was one of the main reasons um, for uh, focusing on, you know, health food store. Okay. Okay. Because you, I had a good treat earlier today where it was some pumpkin soup and it was a slider, a vegan slider. That's, that, that's my mother's recipe, pumpkin soup. Really? Yes. So it's your mother's back. recipe. So, okay. So I you, stole it. I borrowed it from her. You borrowed it from her? She would want me to have it, actually. Is she getting any residuals for that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, she's still the love of her son, even though she's, she's no longer with us. Okay, see, well, okay, so... I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm no glad problem. that her recipe is still carrying on and filling people, yeah. filling my belly too. And then I, I very much appreciate it because it had that beautiful Caribbean authentic taste to it. Very light, you know, it's yes. not heavy. You know, most people in the pumpkin soup, they got to use like a meat stock. Yes. Or, and, or a heavy cream, it's very right. light. You know, everything is just natural season. It was very filling. Yes. Now, so you've been here for 18 years. And now, kind of going back to a generational recipe right now. So, talking about generations, where you come from? Because I hear an accent in your voice. Yes. Well, you know, I was born in uh, St. Vincent. So Vincent. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. St. Vincent in the house. Beautiful. That's all I have. I've never been. It's, it's, it's paradise in North, really. So, you probably oh, really? get this. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Yes. Oh, okay. So, I guess that you didn't want to stay down there. It wouldn't be fair to not share some of this wholesome goodness that you have down there and come up here in beautiful. I'm not sure. Agree. Clean agree. New York. Okay, good. So, we're talking about sharing now. Now, talked about that you've been here for 18 years and the beautiful products and your beautiful staff here. Now, what are some of the things that you actually have here to help the community, you know, become better as opposed to a regular corner store? Right. Um, in terms of food, we sell a, 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 a vegan um, food. Everything we do is vegan. All right. Um, meat product or byproducts from meat. Everything is basically plant-based. We do a breakfast. We open from about 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning. We, we do um, breakfast, you know, very healthy, organic, natural breakfast. We do lunch, and of course, we dinner. And we, we, open, we close at 10 o'clock. Wow. Um, but beyond that, we, we do the vitamins, all the natural vitamins, as you can see right here, you know, whether it's for um, blood pressure, okay, diabetes, right. you know, um, prostate. We try to, if we, could, if we catch it early, you treat it naturally. Okay. Or you complement whatever um, Western medicine uh, might give to you. I, you know, I don't subscribe to saying that you shouldn't use something else. But these, right. you know, if you do 
follow stuff first, chances are you can reap it, you know, or extend life. And in the back over there, we carry um, organic fruits and vegetables, juices, we do the juices and natural juices. I'm sure, in, you know, we got a whole line of grocery product, right. you know, that we carry in the back. But I'm sure you would, you know, show sure, um, all the products that we carry mentioned in the back and the food section. Right. Yeah, I'm showing the the CV viewers at home right now all the different products you have natural. The thing about natural is like not going to have as much side effects as side a right, lot of Western right. pharmaceuticals would have. Now, yeah. you mentioned like a lot of different conditions like mm. blood pressure, diabetes, and a good amount of those things are brought on about because of <laughs> wrong diet. But uh, yes, definitely. So basically, like you know, we're in a busy strip in New York in Brooklyn. Right. And of course, busy strips means going to be fast food and greasy foods, high fat content, salt, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But basically, what you're doing here, you're looking to reverse those effects. Thank you. Okay. Well, we, we, you know, the idea is to kind of avoid it by eating healthy. They say your uh, medicine is in your cupboard. No, I mean, not necessarily a lot of the stuff they're selling us now. I mean, we have to choose food that does something that just not just nourish the body and the soul, but that's healthy. You know, not the uh, greasy stuff, as you mentioned, you know, uh, you know, I don't, you know, like the meat and stuff like that. I mean, you know, I'm talking about plant a plant-based diet. Okay. Most part. Okay. So again, if your medicine is in your cupboard, again, it depends on what you have in your cupboard, you just gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. Okay, see, and see, and also you don't just sell the products, but you have books here too. And I hear you interacting with a lot of your customers and you actually educate them with certain things, the proper dosages, what kind of things to deal with, how to deal with it, how to take it. And you know, you know, some people I saw a lady not too long ago, she couldn't have too much sugar. Right. And that's good. And people don't understand the dangers behind things well, like sugar. Uh, the thing is, uh, you know, I tell people if you're gonna buy a supplement to help cure alleviate the problem but then you eat the same diet with a lot of sugar a lot of starch a lot of fuck. right it's it's really not going to do a whole lot for you you have to make sure it is whatever you do as a supplement has to be complemented with um proper diet right and exercise right you know exercise you i know, agree I always emphasize that exercise is really a great goal right so it's a lot more than just um laying around all day and then come to eat something healthy and go back to go lay down. Right back to bed. No. Right. Yes. That's Don't not going like to. It's not going to work like Gotta that. Got to burn some of those calories. Yeah. So see, it's, it's good. So so if anyone does come here, it's best to try to walk. If anything, try and find a nice day before it's winter and too right. cold. And like you know, come here. It's a little little place to sit here when you have to cook food in the back and right. then walk it off a little bit. Now we have you know a lot of teas, a lot of pills, and everything like you said, and the fresh produce. Now food in the back how what inspired you to you know start making hot food because most a lot of stores don't even venture into the hot foods or anything like that well again again you know I want to make sure we complement the supplement with the food right you know what we sell what we cook we cook what we sell you know so I want to make sure that people understand that and you know realize they can change the diet right you know so I mean that's one of the main reasons like you know make sure that see how the product is used. So okay. most of the products we sell with cocos. Ah, see, so that's good. So you're promoting everything that you're selling. You're not just like, you're, right. cause some people actually, they outsource and get food from the outside and right. sell it. No, we, we actually cook everything from scratch. Never, have, never from a can. You have a full blown well, kitchen back there. Yeah, from a, everything, you can hear them buying and stuff. They're cutting the vegetables and foods up right now. Right, so in this case you heard, that's not yeah. construction going on. No. No, but it's, it's construction for your body to help build yeah. it up properly. They're chopping up stuff back there. That's all that banging you're hearing. So that means they're, they're at work. And the thing is, you constantly have a steady stream of people who just happen to be, you know, in a quiet pocket. But every time I come in here, there's always, always people and, and, coming and that, in. Here. That I appreciate because, you know, uh, when we started the store, a lot of people say um, a store like this couldn't work in this community. You know, it was like a lot of negative vibes. You know, so I'm grateful. I'm thankful for the customers who've been. We have customers who's been here from day one and still coming almost every day. Wow, for, so I'm for 18 years. Yeah, 18 years. Wow. 18 plus years actually. And they've been coming every day. Even if they go away for two or three weeks, they come right back. So I'm, I'm grateful for that because a lot of people, I have people who sell me products and actually say, 
destroy one survivor with them. We still here. We plan to be here for another 18 years, God's spirit life. Um, Wayne. So, you know, I'm of course going to get to the rest of your staff, but just so I can put this up for the viewers here, um, what is your address here? We are 5222 Church Avenue. That's between 52nd and 53rd Street in Brooklyn. Again, 5222 Church Avenue, and that's between 52nd and 53rd Street. So a few blocks away from Utica? From Utica, yes. So it's not in the boonies. It's really easy to come and find this place. It's definitely easy. Right. And what's the number for the store here? The phone number is 718-240-9613. 718-240-9613. Okay, so beautiful. So, okay, people got the address, the people have the phone number, and there's basically everything for everybody here. Skin care, internal care, cleansings, teas, hot food, drinks, fresh produce, legumes, all that stuff. And, and it, it has if, it. if you don't see it, you ask for it, we order it for you, or we make it for you. Let me introduce you to the sure. Talking now with the store manager. This is the person that makes everything happen. This whole operation can't go on without Ava. Beautiful Ava. How you doing, Ava? I'm good. You're good? Yes, I'm good. Of course you gotta be good. You're around all these good products. Uh, yeah. Every day. Yes. Alright, so what is it? Even though I said that you are the store manager, what exactly that entails of running something like this? Um, there's a lot of hard work behind the scenes. Uh-huh. Um, takes a lot of dedication. Right. Um, in um, providing the service that's required for our customers. Uh, okay. We have a, um, a lot of different type of customers that come through. Some are vegetarians, some are vegan, some are just experimenting. Okay. So we basically educate on the products that we carry. Right. Um, provide suggestions, um, instructions if needed. And um, we at Nani is like, it's like a family. Most of our customers are customers who've been with us for over a couple of years. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, so they're returning customers. So we have this family oriented business where they know us, we know them. We, we try to provide what they are looking for. Right, see, thing, the thing with, with Ava, she seemed kind of shy and bashful, but she didn't want to be on camera. But just in the drop of the dime, she provided so much information because she's so used to interacting with customers yeah. with the right kind of service, and there's a reason why. Now, you're well versed in everything here and operations and how to treat customers. That's why they keep coming back. How long have you been working here? I've been with Nani Health the Store for six years. Wow. I've been around when they were a tiny little store next door. Right. And then I've moved with them they're here we offer more products here more services right. in a bigger location for the community okay all right now why do you like doing what you do is, is this like the money like your six-figure salary working here <laughs> <laughs> no um it's also educational for me too because i learn in the process of helping others okay that's what it's and about and i enjoy that um i love that uh you can be in this neighborhood and just walk down the block and get to a healthy store that gives you healthy products. There's not a lot of places in Brooklyn where you can find that. That's correct. You have to travel. Yes. So in this neighborhood, um, we have the privilege of providing that kind of service to yes. the customers that live in this area. Okay. All right. Now, if you don't want me asking, you know, when he just said he's from St. Vincent, where are you from? So from St. Vincent too. See, Vincent Cruz is just rolling hard up in here, man. I don't know of anywhere else that's close enough that that has this kind of variety. Yes, and we try to provide a lot of different services for our customers. Right. Where they can pre-order their food, right. salads, juices. Oh, really? We provide that service also. Okay, so that number that Wayne gave us earlier, then you know we could call and. Yes. Really. Oh, wow, that's big. And uh, we also, um, to the customers who have been coming for a while, right. they get sick and they want us to deliver their lunches or dinners, yeah. we do that service. See, also. you're not going to get that anywhere else. No. I don't know if anywhere else actually does that. No. That's a big plus. Yes. And for the past couple of years, we've been doing small black entrepreneurs who have um, handmade products like soap, okay. body butters, gotcha. carry from a 
um, maybe five different vendors right now. Okay. Who are small businesses. Okay. They have their little home businesses, but what we do, we provide them a space where they can sell their products. Gotcha. And if their customers are looking for them and they can't get them, where are the location to pick up? So we have deodorants. Oh, wow. That's handmade or right. black owned. Right. Uh, soaps, body butters, um, whip, body whips, uh, body oils, okay. hair oils, and stuff like that. Learn something new every day because that I did not know. Yes. That is, that is so awesome. So we carry um, Moshin. Moshin is a small brand. Um, most of Moshin products are made from spices, island spices. And okay. The owner is Canadian. I believe I talked to her one time yes. when I was here one time. So that's one of the brands we've been carrying for the past three years. Wow. Okay. And it's been doing well. Okay. We also carry um, Binu, which is pretty new. She okay. does um, deodorants, vegan deodorants body lotions, we carry a beer soap, they're all the way from St. Vincent, they're made from like um, herbs, okay. baked, like neem, moringa, papaya, and she has a great soap soap, most of our soap is towards um, skin conditions, uh, like acne, gotcha. rashes, and stuff like that, Okay. we carry Nature Care, which is also a small brand that makes hair oils, body oils, body butters and soaps. Okay. Uh, Jazzy's All Natural is one from St. Vincent also. Okay. That carries um hey, mama. they're all based from herbs. Ah, so okay. the moringa and neem, papaya. She does a volcanic soap from the soil ah, in St. Vincent. Okay. So don't we try to give them an opportunity to display their products. Right. When they're not available. Okay, but so they have a location that's a where fantastic where service right there. Yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. So, so not just your business, you're trying to expand everyone else's business too. Yes. That's within the same type of. That's beautiful. Okay, all right. That's um, that's unbelievable to hear. So, this is the place to do. It. This is the place to come. This is the place to support, and by you coming to support here, you're supporting other niche businesses as well. That's been a holistic community. Honey's is one of the places I believe is like one of a kind and they've been here for a long time and it looks like they're going to be here for even longer. So you should come here and support. At least, you know, give them a call see if they have something for you. They can order it for you or come by and get some food. Get a nice holistic drink, get a fresh press to drink back there, get a wheat grass shot, any other kind of shot that you said, the winter shot. So and don't forget we got a sister here who, um, <laughs> who has her own business right here. Well, so we have a business owner. So we have a business owner here. Okay. Hey, how you doing there? I'm a sports PT. Okay. So I deal with people with injuries, and that's what I'm doing. So I deal with people with So legit doctor comes here. That's big. Yes. Do you have any contact info you want to share with the viewers? You know what? They can hit me on Dr. D on Facebook. Okay. Um, DK uh, Peak Performance. DK Peak Performance yes. on Facebook? Yes. All right, there you go. Yes. And she uses one of the best products because she's coming here. I stay here. I don't go to any place else. When I come to New York, this is it. Wow. This is it. See, see him testimony. And if they don't have it, they know when they, it's going to come in and I come back and get it. So we're getting testimonies here yes. as we're shooting. Yes. That's beautiful. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. No problem. Okay. So we have here Ava and Wayne. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the store. Thank you for the years you put in. Uh, this is not going to be like my last day here. Oh, yeah, so you got to give me some drops of names at least because they're, they're running around doing a lot of things back there. Look at Stacy. Stacy's being, being shy like Ava. Oh, you should have it going. Hey, what's going on, Stacy? You good? Still fresh? Well, she looks like she knows what she's doing now, because I see she's back and forth. 
Okay. She's a very hard worker, very dedicated. Uh, you know, sometimes I have to give her a hard time. She makes all the first Ah, uh, so she makes all the juices. Okay, so she's the one I gotta go big give props to. All right, anybody else you want to big up? Because I said it is. Maureen in the back, he's a chef. You know, Chef Maureen. Um, then we got um, Patsy, and then also in the back, and we just got Lee, who's also. Okay. All right. And we have Chantel, who's in charge of all fresh fruits and vegetables. Chantel, where's she at? She's making the shots. Oh, she's actually making the shots. shots right now. So she's busy keeping people well, some used to the busy. Okay. okay. All right, cool. All right. Ava, Wayne, thank you again. Appreciate it. I'm going to be here again. And anybody else who's watching, make sure you come here and visit Nani on Church Avenue. We are out. Please stay tuned to brooklynbaritone.com for any more information upcoming events. Talk to you guys later.